Hi, I'm Jeff, head of the design team here at Career Foundry. And I'm Anne, head of the mentor team. I'm also taking the Career Foundry UX design course. Today, we're going to introduce you to the wonderful world of user research. As a designer, a user-centered approach is crucial. You need to understand what your users need, how they think, and how they behave. It is important to engage with your users directly and really figure out how they tick. Cue user research. No matter what kind of designer you are, a basic understanding of user research and the methods it involves is absolutely essential. Effective user research will save time, prevent unnecessary work, and allow you to make more informed design decisions. In this video, we'll explain exactly what UX research is and why it's so important. We'll also consider when might be the best time to conduct user research. By the end of this video, you'll have the basics of UX research well and truly covered. Ready? Let's begin. User experience research is the systematic investigation of your users in order to gather insights that will inform the design process. With the help of various user research techniques, you'll set out to understand your users' needs, behaviors, attitudes, and pain points. UX research is all about gathering and interpreting data and feedback. You do this by observing your users, conducting interviews, running usability tests, and more. The tools and methods you use all depend on the project at hand and what exactly you want to find out. We'll explore UX research methods in more detail in our next video. For now, let's consider the purpose of UX research and why it's so important. The purpose of UX research is to put your design project into context. It helps you understand the problem you're trying to solve. It tells you who your users are, in what context they'll be using your product or service, and ultimately, what they need from you, the designer. UX research ensures that you are designing with the user in mind, which is key if you want to create a successful product. Throughout the design process, your UX research will aid you in many ways. It'll help you identify problems and challenges, validate or invalidate your assumptions, find patterns and commonalities across your target user groups, and shed plenty of light on your users' needs, goals, and mental models. Why is this so important? Over to you, Anne. UX research is crucial throughout the design process. Before you even start designing, you'll need extensive UX research to really uncover and understand the underlying problem. If you've already got a solution in mind, your UX research might end up turning it on its head, so be prepared to rethink your entire concept based on what you learn. Without UX research, you're essentially basing your designs on assumptions. If you don't take the time to engage with real users, how do you know what needs and pain points your design should solve? The chances are you'll end up spending time and money developing a product that, when launched, has loads of usability issues and design flaws, or simply doesn't fulfill a real user need. UX research enables you to uncover such issues early on, saving you time, money, and lots of frustration. The research phase ensures you're designing with real insights and facts, not guesswork. Imagine you release a product that has the potential to fill a gap in the market, but due to a lack of user research, is full of bugs and usability issues. At best, you'll have a lot of unnecessary work to do getting the product up to scratch. At worst, the brand's reputation will suffer. UX research gives you a competitive edge making sure your designs are based on real users and their needs. Research shows you how your product will perform in a real-world context, highlighting any issues that need to be ironed out before you go ahead and develop it. In a nutshell, it makes you a more effective, efficient, user-centric designer. If you want to design a successful product, don't even think about skipping the UX research stage. On that note, when is the best time to conduct your user research? UX research comes in two parts. First, gathering data, and second, synthesizing that data in order to improve usability. You'll want to conduct extensive UX research at the very start of the design process, but also throughout. In fact, there's no such thing as too much UX research. At the start of the project, you'll focus on learning all about your target users. At this stage, you want to gather as many insights as possible about your users' needs and goals. Your chosen UX research methods will be steeped in observation and data collection, such as interviews and surveys, for example. You'll conduct this initial research before you start defining a problem statement or holding ideation sessions. Once you've conducted your initial UX research and start to come up with ideas, the focus will shift to usability and sentiment. Throughout the design process, you'll continually conduct UX research in order to test and improve your designs. You'll be using methods such as A-B testing and user interviews to test your assumptions and highlight any areas that need improving or redesigning. So when is the best time to conduct user research? all the time. It's best to think of UX research as an ongoing process. You'll use it to kickstart your design project, making sure you're designing with real users in mind. 
As your designs evolve, you'll conduct further UX research to check what works and what doesn't. So there you have it, your complete introduction to UX research. Now we know exactly what UX research is, why it's so important, and at what stages in the design process you'll want to conduct it. In the next video in our UX research series, we'll take a closer look at UX research methods. We'll distinguish between qualitative and quantitative research, and we'll show you how to go about selecting the right methods based upon your goals and objectives. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, you'll find plenty more information over on the Career Foundry blog. Thanks for watching. See you next time.